Jesus. Glory to God. He is a worshiper at heart. And you can always find him giving praise and worship before the Lord. God uses him as a living testimony of his deliverance power to bring others out of captivity and song in prayer, teaching, preaching, and prophesying. Oh my God, this dynamic man of God is faithful and committed to serving the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. In spirit and in truth. And it has led him to hold several leadership positions throughout the ministry. Currently, God is using him um, to train leaders to make a global impact within society. He serves as a lead instructor at Dorm International um, Kingdom Strategist University, and he is the host of the Kingdom International Intercession and Word of Empowerment broadcast under the leadership of Apostle Deron Shay Zorn. He is a native of Wilson, North Carolina, and his favorite scripture is Show me a token for good, that thy which hate me may see it and be ashamed, because thy Lord has hope in me and comforted me. Psalms 86 and 17, and I want to introduce to some and reintroduce to many, none other than the prophet William Rogers, the voice of thunder. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory. Glory unto God, people of God. As the apostle introduced me, I bless the Lord for you, apostle. Thank God for you. Amen. But you just made that my favorite scripture. Amen. Just come alive in me. Amen. Psalm 86, 17. Lord, show me, God, a token for good. Ah, the day which hate me may see it and be ashamed because thou lord has helped me and comforted me in the name of jesus and i just want to decree on this morning that god has surely done that thing in my life and i'm just excited on what he's about to do next in the name of jesus and that's just going to open me up this morning amen for those of you to have your Bible on this morning. Amen. We're coming from the book of Habakkuk. Amen. And I'm going to be coming from the second chapter. Amen. The first four verses. Amen. And they're going to read as follows. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. I pray that you got your Bibles open this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Because God is about to reveal himself in this word. Amen. Hallelujah. And it reads as follows. I will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say to me. Somebody say strategy. Uh, And what I shall answer when I am approved. Come on, somebody. And the Lord answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that readeth it, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak, my God, and not lie. Though it tarry, come on, somebody, wait for its strategy, because it will surely come, we will not tarry, my God. Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, is not upright in him, but the just shall live by his faith. Come on, strategy, in the name of Jesus. So people of God, amen, if I would just come to you this morning, amen, out of this word of truth, amen, and I just uh, begin to give you a topic, amen, uh, to speak on this morning, and it would just simply be, Lord, open my eyes of understanding in the name of Jesus. See, people of God, amen, we want God to always open our eyes of understanding concerning the things of man. But God is now in a place where he wants us to open our eyes of understanding unto what he's doing. Come on, somebody. A lot of us, we're so tied up and we're caught up on what somebody else doing that we're missing what God is trying to do in our life. 
We're missing what God is trying to do through us for others. Because our eyes of understanding uh, have become dim. Our eyes of understanding have become blinded. Why? Because. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, glory, glory be unto God in this place. In the glory, night. hallelujah. Amen. We have taken our eyes off of God and what God is doing. See, sometimes in this way and in this life, uh, things will come up on us. Uh, things will come against us. Uh, amen. Sometimes the attacks of the enemy uh, will find us uh, and have permission to come. Uh, amen. To try us. Uh, and sometimes in that place, uh, when things begin to go wrong all around us, uh, we begin to start looking at circumstances and stop looking to God. Lord, open the eyes of our understanding. See, a lot of times, people of God, we get caught up by what we see. We get caught up, amen, at what others are doing, amen, and we forget to fix our eyes on Jesus, amen. And here in this text, we see this prophet Habakkuk, amen, hallelujah. He comes to prophesy, amen, hallelujah, on the behalf of God to the nations of Israel. And in this place of prophesying, God speaks, amen, to the prophet and tell the prophet what he's going to do. But we see that prophet Habakkuk, amen, he went before the Lord, amen, with questions because of what he saw. Huh. Boy, it opened the eyes of my understanding. See, Habakkuk saw all the wickedness in the land. Habakkuk saw all the evil that was coming forth upon the people. So he went to God and he brought his complaints and what he saw taking place and he began to ask God, God, how long, Lord? Will this go on? Don't that sound like us? Amen. When things are going wrong in our life, when things are going awry, when the enemy just seems to be launching attack after attack, and all we can spend time doing is seeing what the enemy is doing. Come on, somebody. Seeing what the frenemy is doing. Seeing what the other ministries are doing. Seeing what everybody else is doing except for God. And Habakkuk was in that place. Habakkuk was always seeing what was going on around him. Amen. And when God called him to come and prophesy, he went to God with a bunch of complaints. And see, people of God, we have to learn, amen. It's okay to go to God with your questions. But see, I love it because we found out over, amen, in chapter 1, when Habakkuk went over, amen, to speak unto God and kept saying, how long, Lord, you going to let all this go forth, God? How long, Lord, you going to let your people be persecuted, God? He was just coming with all those questions of what he thought God should do. But see, I love God's response back to Habakkuk because he let Habakkuk know, Habakkuk, I'm raising up another enemy worse than the one you're dealing with now. Come on, somebody. See, hallelujah. See, people of God, when things are happening, when people are going through all around you, when you're going through, hallelujah, and you're looking for it to get better, you start taking your eyes off God, amen, and start looking at problems and start making them bigger than God. Hallelujah. You may not know that God even got a, another rain of terror coming your way. My God. And see, God had another reign of terror coming in the lives of the children of Israel. And see, the prophet Habakkuk, God let him know, Habakkuk, see, you worried about the wrong thing, Habakkuk. You worrying about, amen, hallelujah, for this thing to be over instead of worrying about what I'm going to do next. My God, Lord, open the eyes of our understanding. 
See, we as a people, see, we always want a quick fix, amen. We always want an easy way out. We, we always want stuff to be smoothed over smoothly, amen. But don't we know that God got a process? And part of God's process is getting the people of God's perception into the things which are above and not the things that are beneath. So we see, hallelujah, that as the prophet goes and he talks to the Lord and he makes his complaints into God, and we see he comes over, amen, hallelujah, and God gives him the answer to his complaints. Because God, uh, amen, wanted uh, the prophet to know just who he is. My God, Lord, open the eyes of our understanding. Uh, and see, uh, we see when God comes now, hallelujah, when, when God comes and tells Habakkuk what he's about to do to the nation, what he's about to do to the children of Israel, and what he's even about to do to the next army that he raised up, I, I, the prophet had to get into a place, and he began to say, oh, Lord, I now must turn my perception into what you see, God. See, people of God, if what you see is all you see, you will never see all there is to be seen in the name of Jesus. See, we get caught up on everything we see and we take it as that's all we see and not realize that we need to begin to let our eyes of understanding be enlightened through the word of God, to let our eyes of understanding be enlightened until, hallelujah, the voice of God to find out what it is God is doing. See, a lot of times we get so confused, we get so caught up in thinking what the enemy is doing, and God's hand is all in it. Because everything the enemy does, God gives permission. But yet we refuse to go and ask God, what is he doing? And see, the prophet, when he saw all this disaster in the land, see, he was carrying this weight down on the inside of him before God even called him. Come on, somebody, call him to speak to the nation. He was walking around, still a prophet, walking around, still saying, sanctified, hallelujah, and walking under the anointing of God. He was still holy. He was still living a life pleasing to God, but yet he had a heart full of complaint. Come on, somebody. Uh, because he was looking for God, amen, to do it one way. He was looking for God to bring an end of the turmoil, of the hurt, of the pain, of the disaster that the children of Israel and Judah was going through. He was looking for the relief of God. And he was waiting on the day to go to God with the complaints. And like I said, people of God, it's okay to go to God when we don't understand what's going on, when we can't see and figure it out. Amen. Hallelujah. It's better to go to God than to go to your neighbor. Come on, somebody. It's better to go to God than to go to your pastor. Come on, somebody. Say, ouch. Come on. I know you. I didn't want to hear that. But it's better to God than to run to the prophets. It all goes out there ready to tell you anything, everything except for what God is truly saying. It's time, people, to get into the place of God where he allow our eyes of understanding to be open. Amen. And here we're going to see, amen, the strategy that Habakkuk used, amen, when he came uh, before the presence of the Lord, when the Lord began to open up his eyes to his work. Amen. Hallelujah. Habakkuk, he began to have conversation with God. And God said, look, Habakkuk, basically, I'm just paraphrasing people. God, what you see now is nothing compared to what I have prepared for the disaster that I'm going to bring into the lives of the children of Israel. 
I'm going to raise up an enemy so vicious that the enemy that they're going with, dealing with now is nothing in comparison. And that enemy that I have raised up, Assyria, the Babylonian, is going to come through and destroy them. But also Habakkuk. I'm going to raise up that enemy Babylon to come and do my will because it was already anointed and appointed in my design. Come on, somebody. Amen. Hallelujah. But not only was it anointed and appointed for my design, also in my design, Habakkuk, is I'm going to utterly destroy them as well. Come on. Uh, why? 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 Because uh, see, they took advantage of my anointing. Uh, my oh my God! Uh, see, they took advantage uh, of my purpose that I had for them to do. Uh, and instead of them going and walking in the power and the authority that I gave them, they took advantage of it. Come on. Uh, so I'm gonna cause them to be destroyed too, Habakkuk. But see, I have to stand on my word, Habakkuk. See, I'm God and I do not lie. So when I decree the enemies that I will raise up against Israel, they shall be established. Lord, open the eyes of our understanding. So when Habakkuk had this conversation with God, and God began to reveal the plan of himself unto the prophet, uh, Habakkuk said, okay, now it's time that I fix my eyes on God. Hey, hallelujah. People of God, we got to get into a place in this walk where we begin to fix our eyes on Jesus. We got to take them off the church folk. We got to take them off everything the pastor and them saying. We got to take it off with all the mother folk running around speaking loud and saying nothing and we taking it and running with it and it still ain't nothing that God is doing for your life. Because you are distracted by what's going on around you. <laughs> because uh, you are focused on what other folks are doing over here and doing over there. And you ain't even looking at what God has planned for you. You can't even begin to walk out your assignment because you're so busy uh, focused uh, on when somebody else's territory. You're so busy focused uh, at what the enemy is bringing about the disasters uh, in your home. Uh, how the enemy has lost an attack uh, over your family. Uh, how the enemy uh, has came uh, and Touch your finances, hallelujah, but you still refuse to be alone in the things of God. So, uh, here goes the strategy, amen, we're going to walk out this morning, hallelujah, when Habakkuk got into the place where he said, you know what, God, I don't want a mission no more, God, my God, oh my God, somebody say, Lord, I don't want to miss what you're doing in this season, God, I don't want to miss, God, what you're doing in my life and in all the Lord. So, I'm going to align myself, God. Unto you, God. And here we go. Now we get ready to walk into the text, people of God, because we get ready to release this strategy. Thank you, Holy Ghost, unto the people this morning. Uh, we see the prophet, amen, Habakkuk, now get into a place, and, and we begin in chapter 2. And the first thing we read that the prophet does, he says that I will stand. Strategy number one, upon my watch, come on, somebody, and set me upon the tower. See, people of God, the first thing we have to do when we begin to want to get into God's presence to know what God is doing, we got to take a stance. Come on, somebody. We got to begin to stand up. Yeah, yeah we got to begin to stand up. Hallelujah. We got to begin to be rightful and upright before God. Yes, it's okay to get on your knees, but sometimes in your knees there are obstacles. Sometimes, I say, hey, hallelujah. Sometimes when you're down on your knees and you're watching. You can't see everything, but sometimes we see the prophet stand and watch. 
So the first strategy, people of God, when you are asking God to be your mind to be enlightened into what God's doing, it's time to take a stance. See, because you have gotten into a place where you have done all you can, and the word says that when you've done all you can, you got to stand. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So we're releasing that strategy unto you this morning, that it's time to get into a place and say, God, I'm going to stand. God likes us when we're standing before him, standing, hallelujah, with the fullness and the power that he has given us to be born of God. It's time to stand. Get up off the knee. Hold your head high and stand. Before all men, decree who you are. Stand in your everyday living. Stand in your everyday walk. See, a lot of times uh, when you're standing and you begin to recognize God in your stance, you won't mind going around telling people who you are in Christ Jesus. A lot of times you just want to do it in that place of kneeling. You want to do it at that place along the bedside. Oh, my God. You, you want to do it, amen, in your uh, private chambers only, amen. And you want to leave that position right there. Hallelujah. But the prophet is telling us this morning that the first thing he began to do was stand. See, people already knew who he was. Come on, hallelujah. He just had to find himself in the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. It got to be a time when we find ourselves and we find our positions and who we are in Christ Jesus and the stances that we got to take yes, yes, yes. to get a closer relationship in him. And, and the prophet, he said, listen, I, I'm going to stand upon my watch. Uh, and God set me upon the tower and I'm going to watch to see what he will say to me. In other words, every word that God begins to speak, people of God, I'm going to be watching and I'm going to be listening. I, I See, I don't want to miss what God is saying in this season because I see I've been walking this life saved. I've been walking this life sanctified. I've been walking this life holy go feel and ain't heard and saw nothing God said. Amen. Oh, my God. See, because I've been walking around holy. I, I, I've been walking around so holy. Hallelujah. That I ain't even want to hear God no more. I done got so much into my ritualistic routines in the way I do things in my holiness before man that I ain't even listening to God no more. Thank you, Holy Ghost. See, I done got so holy, hallelujah, that I ain't even watching and listening the voice of God. All I'm doing is rehearsing things that I know and that I heard and I learned. And always move by circumstances, people, places, and things. Come on. Habakkuk said, I, I, I'm going to stand in this season, and I'm going to attune my ear to the voice of God. Amen. I, I'm not going to take what I've learned. I'm not going to walk in my intuition and my feelings no longer, but I'm going to stand before God. I'm going to stand upright, and I'm going to listen to the voice of God. I'm going to block out all this background noise that's hindering me every day. I'm going to block out all the lies from the enemy uh, that's trying to clout my spirit, my perception in God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. See, people of God, it's going to be our perception that's going to cause the inception of God to enter into our territory. Oh, my God. See, when we get into that place of standing, we get that clarity that comes upon us, and it opens up our perception. It opens up our way of thinking, and the perception now is on the things of God. And what God is going to say. And when we allow the perception down on the inside of us to open up, it allows us to get the impression of what God is speaking in our life. Hallelujah. Ha. And Habakkuk said, hallelujah, I'm going to stand and I'm going to watch. Amen. I'm going to watch in the name of Jesus. Amen. To see what it is God is saying. See, that's the position and a strategy, people of God, that one must take. 
when you wanting to hear from God, huh? when you wanting to speak from God. See, you already got the praying. You you already got the turning down the place and the fasting. Huh? Amen. But you're still in that place huh? of missing what God is saying huh? and allowing things to continue to slip huh? through your life huh? without questioning God, huh? without asking God huh? how to deal with certain situations, huh? how to deal with certain circumstances. Huh? See, it's okay to ask God, huh? but you got to be in a place. Huh? I'm going to get to ask. God and listen and wait on his response. In that place of standing, Habakkuk said, I'm going to stand until God speaks. I'm going to stand until the voice of God has brought clarity down inside of me. When people of God are, we're going to get into that place, amen, to stand for the Lord. To stand, to see, amen, when God is speaking. A lot of them say, well, God ain't speaking to me. is because you won't stay still long enough. You won't quiet your soul and your flesh long enough. That's why you always run into other people. You always want to hear what other people got to say. You always want to hear what the prophet got to tell you, amen, because you refuse to listen to God. And everything you see, you want to put your own, amen, explanation on what's taking place without finding out from God what's really going on like Habakkuk did. And see, people of God, here we see, amen, in this hallelujah strategy that Habakkuk took, amen, when he began now to stand on his watch, amen, and, and, and set himself upon the altar to watch and see what God was saying. He was now saying, Lord, forgive me, God. Forgive me, Lord, for not trusting in you, God. Forgive me, Lord, for not believing you, Lord. Forgive me, Lord, for keeping the deaf ear, God, unto your voice, Lord, and allowing my own thoughts, my own reasoning, my own opinions, God, to try to interpret what you were doing in the earth, God. My God, my God. People of God, it's time to repent. From our ways, amen, of not giving God the opportunity to speak to us. For for not being, amen, in a place still enough, long enough, standing in who we are in him to receive what it is he wants to reveal unto us. And see, when Habakkuk now got himself into that place, hey, man, come on, somebody. He had to quiet down that spirit. Come on now. He had to get that spirit in a place, hey, man, to be calm and be quiet. He had to bring that subject on the subjection unto the power of God. Come on. And when he did, we see over in verse 2 when the Bible says, and then the Lord answered him. Oh, yes. See, when you walk out the strategies of God, amen, it will get you in a place, amen, to hear from God, to allow God to speak to you. But we got to do like Habakkuk and calm this flesh and calm this rumbling and rambling and speedy process that the mind goes through. And then, like as we see in this word this morning, we see now we hear the voice of the Lord. Come and speak to the prophet. Uh, uh, hallelujah, people of God. See, God will speak when we get into that place, uh, amen, of quietness in him. When we get into the place, uh, amen, of no longer complaining and no longer whining uh, before God. But we will get into the place, amen, to just say, God, what are you doing in this season, God? Lord, I want to know God. See, that, that's why I, I, I hear that song, Lord, whatever you're doing in this season, don't do it without me. See, I, I hear people sing that old beautiful song, but I'm like, Lord, I, I want to know what you're doing, God. Because I might want you to do that without me, Lord. Come on, somebody. Because, Lord, it, it might be some wrath that you want to do in this season, God. 
And I might not want to go through that, God. It, it might be some chastisement, God, that you're doing in this season, God. Lord, there may be some pulling up, God, and some trouble that ain't going on, God. Come on now. Lord, it may be some disasters that you were doing, God. And, Lord, I, I might want you, God, to do that without me, God. Oh, yeah. See, I, I, I'm not going to invite myself into something, amen, hallelujah, to try to put on this form of holiness and to put on this form of godliness. Because what I'm finding out is when people are inviting themselves, amen, into the battles of the Lord, they ain't even equipped to handle it. Come on. They saying, Lord, whatever you do in this season, God, don't do it without me. And the Lord come along doing his thing and include them because they ask him. And now they're in the middle of what God's doing. And they ain't liking the way you're feeling. Come on. They ain't liking the way you're looking. They ain't liking the way other people are treating them. Why not go into what God is doing? My God. Mm-mm-mm-mm. Lord, uh, open the eyes of our understanding. <laughs> and I'm here to help this morning, Holy Ghost. Come on, let's walk this out. <laughs> Amen. And, and here we see people of God. Now we hear God come and answer the prophet. Uh, and God begins to tell him. And the prophet said, and the Lord answered me and said, write the vision, Habakkuk. See, when we get into that place of standing, when we get into that place to hear the voice of God, we're now being a place to receive the revelation from God. Come on, somebody. Uh, he tell Habakkuk, listen, I need you to write the vision. In other words, I need you to write down this revelation that I'm about to place down inside of you. Come on, somebody. Uh, when you get into a place and you get into this word of God, and this word of God begins to become revealed in you. God, uh, Jesus told Peter, he said, who the son of man say I am? And Peter said, God, uh, the Christ, the son of the living God. And Jesus said, I was this rock. Oh, yes. Upon this revelation, come on, uh, I'm going to build on, my now. church Please and the word. gates of hell is not going to prevail against it. Amen. Uh, hallelujah. Please and God word. said, uh, Habakkuk, when I come and speak to you, when I come and release this revelation in you, it's going to become a vision. I say, hey, hallelujah. And in this vision, Habakkuk, I need you to write the vision and I need you to make it clean. I need you, Habakkuk, uh, to really take this revelation and because it shall be done. It shall be established. It shall accomplish that in which I will set it out to do. See, people of God, when we're going into the place of God and when we're asking God what he's doing in our life, see, it's going to be a revelation. See, hallelujah, because it's going to be a hidden, revealed thing that God wants to put down inside of you. And when God put it down inside of you, know that it's going to come to pass. And he said, Habakkuk, now that you got into a place of humbling yourself, I'm going to open the eyes of your understanding. I'm going to reveal myself. I'm going to reveal my plan unto you. Why? Because you got into a place to come and humble yourself and ask me what I'm doing. Strategy, people of God. Get into the place with the Lord to come and ask God. Lord, what are you doing? Get into a place, amen, to stand with the assurance that God will speak to you and let you know what's about to take place. A lot of times, people of God, see, hallelujah, we don't have the patience and we don't have the time and we're not might even, God will even know when we're not even ready to receive the revelation that he wants to give us. Because God will realize that through your questioning of him. Come on, somebody. <laughs> what are you asking God? Are you asking God what he's going to do according to his plan? Or are you asking God what he's going to do for what you want him to do for you all the time? Lord, open the eyes of our understanding, God. 
Lord knows that we want to be a people, God. Lord, who wants to know what you are doing here in the earth, God. We have gotten so far away, people of God, of seeking God to know what God is doing, to seeking God to know what's on the heart of God for us, to seeking God to know what God has planned for his people. Because we have become so self-centered and so selfish and self-righteous and everything is all about us. So every time we go into the plane, we're going into the face of God. We're going into the face of God about us, me, mine. And not about God, what you are doing, Lord. What are you doing for your people, God? What is your plan, God, for the church, Lord? Lord, show me, God. So, Father God, we'll know what path to go, Lord. Lord, show me, God, if the adversary is bringing about change, Lord. Show me, Lord, if the wrath of the enemy is coming against the church, God. Lord, show me, God. Lord, give me the vision, God. And, Lord, when you give me the vision, God, Lord, I'm going to write it, Lord, and make it plain, God. So that, Lord, when those read your vision, God, when those read your revelation that you reveal through me, God, Lord, that they will run, God. They will run with your revelation, God, and they will stand in your revelation, God. That it will cause a fire, God, to burn down inside of them. And uh, the Lord told Habakkuk, when I release this revelation in you, you write it down, you make it plain. And when those who are going to read it, Habakkuk, they may, may they run with it. May they run to see it come to an end. May they run to see that it come to a pass. May they run to see that it be manifested. Hallelujah, people of God. We got to run with the word of God that God is releasing in our hearts. We got to run with the plan of God that God has established and decreed for us. Oh, God told the prophet, amen, to tell the people, and God was telling the prophet, he said, for the revelation. It's for an appointed time. In other words, I'm going to reveal it to you, but it's going to be for an appointed time. It's not going to be for right now. Amen. But at the end, amen, it shall speak. It shall come to pass and not lie. He said, though it tarry, though the words that God is going to speak to you, it's going to tarry. Amen. But you wait for it, people of God. Because it will surely come. Hallelujah. It will not tarry. And see, people of God, what God is going to begin to speak in our life. As we continue to allow God to open up our eyes of understanding. As God began to do for the prophet Habakkuk. Habakkuk got into a place, amen, of asking God, Lord, to remove the blinders from off my eyes, God. Lord, we got to get into that place to ask God to, Lord, remove the blinders from off of our eyes, God. And we have to begin to look into this word of truth on this morning and look at the strategy that Habakkuk took to get in him to a place, amen, that God could open up his eyes of understanding. Hallelujah, that God's hand could begin to come on his mind that Habakkuk had to get an end, amen, come to an end of himself and about everything that was about him, himself and his eye, his four and no more. And he began to not look at what he wanted God to do, but he began to ask God, God, what are you doing? And humble himself to that God to reveal his plan and to his prophet. And see, God, people of God, he delights to reveal his plan unto us. But we got to get it. We got to move from that place. Amen. Of always speaking and moving on what we see are uh, moving and speaking of what we wish should happen. Are moving and speaking and telling others our plan that we want God to do. And get into the face of God. And ask God, Lord, what are you doing, God? 
heart and just know that as God, if your heart is humble, if you're in a place, hallelujah, standing upon the wall, if you're in a place, amen, for watching for that word, come on somebody, to be revealed unto you and allowing that word of God to get down on the inside of you and God unveil his plan, hallelujah, in your life, which will open up your perception, the way you see things that God is about to do, hallelujah, know that when God releases it in you, that word is for the later, that word is for something on down the road, that word has been decreed, it's been set, and God wants you to write it down, write it on the table, let other people read it so they can run with it, so that it can be manifested. And God said, uh, it, it's going to carry. Amen. It, it, in other words, it's going to take a little minute. So God, uh, he put that in the property to let him know that it's going to take a little minute. So in the waiting process, in the waiting for the revelation to be fulfilled, the people of God, hallelujah, we got a position in the name of Jesus that has God has revealed a thing in your life and you're waiting for it to pass. Hallelujah. You got to just know in your know that if God said it, it shall be established because he cannot lie. He will not lie. Stand in the place of waiting. Stand of a place, amen, of always reminding God of what he said concerning you. Stand and watch and wait for that word that we revealed unto your heart to be manifested. It's time to run with the vision. It's time to write down that vision that God has revealed unto you. It's time, amen, to write it and make it plain. Come on, somebody, so that others may see it and grab hold of the vision. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. See, I thank God, amen, for coming into dorm, coming into a vision in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And catching on to the vision that the apostle wrote and laid out plain. How y'all see it so that others may see it. I saw it. And I run with it. And people of God, we thank the Lord because, see, when God allowed your vision to come and become plain and you begin to write it, amen, and you begin to lay it down so that others, they're going to read it and run with it. But get yourself in a place, people of God to come alongside and to know what it is to work somebody else's vineyard manifesting the vision that was written plain. Hallelujah. Get in it and run if God called you to it. Get into the tarrying process along with a visionary. Oh, where are we going, Holy Ghost? Come on now. Uh, that visionary that God has in the earth, uh, that God revelates and reveals things, and they write them down and make them plain, and he's put them out. Hallelujah for you to read and run with. Hallelujah to run along the assignment of the visionary and to make it come to pass. God is saying there's a reward for you. There's a reward, people of God. When you can get into the place, amen, of his visionaries, amen, and you can get into a place to catch a hold of the vision, come on somebody, and run with the vision, and I'll bring others to the vision, so the vision can live and accomplish that in which God has set it out to do. Lord, open the eyes of our understanding, God. I see people of God, God wants to open up our eyes of understanding like never before. 
God wants us to get past the place, amen, of what we see in the natural, in the name of Jesus, and start looking at the things that he has already decreed in our life. God wants us to get into a place, people of God, that we begin to speak those things that be not as though they are. Ah, oh, hallelujah. God wants us to know his plans in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. When we get into a place of coming before him, when we get into a place of standing in him, hallelujah, no longer depending on self, no longer depending on our intellect, but depending totally on the power of the Holy Ghost. That's always interceding on our behalf. Let's ask God, Lord, enlighten the eyes of my understanding, God. Lord, that I may see you, Father, in what you are doing, God, in my life, God, and in the lives, God, of those, Lord, who you have predestined to be in my presence, God. Lord, I want to know your plan, God. Lord, I want to know your will, God. Lord, that you're going to download down inside of my heart, Father. Lord, the plans that will save your people, God. The plans, God, that you have, God, Lord, that will bring about a revival in my city, God, will bring about a revival in my nation, God, will bring about a revival in my kingdom, God, Lord, will bring about a revival, God, in the heart of the middle of evil, God. Lord, God, write the vision in our hearts, God, by your revealed word, God. And, Lord, Father, through the most holy faith, God, we're going to stand on it, God. We're going to believe what you said, God. We're going to believe, God, that what you have revealed unto us, God, shall come to pass, God. Lord, because we shall, Lord, live by faith, God. As the prophet Habakkuk realized that as God gave him the revelation and told him to write it down and told him to wait for it. Come on, somebody. Those are the strategies, people of God. That in that place of waiting, that it will surely come to pass. And in that waiting and in that knowing, hallelujah, that it's going to come to pass, we have to stand in the most holy faith that God has given us. In that measure of faith, you have this time to maximize that measure of faith that God has given you. Because when you maximize the measure of faith that God gives you, it opens up the door for greater levels of faith. When we begin to operate in the measure of faith that God has poured out upon each and every one of us. It's time to maximize that faith level. Stop saying, I want faith like sister and brother such and so. No, begin to say, I'm going to maximize the level of faith that God has given me. To make room for greater faith. To make room, amen, to God to extend another level of faith in my life. The Bible says that God gives each and every one of us measures of faith. Our belief system is not going to be the same. So don't get discouraged because other people believe in things and it happens automatically. They're just operating under the level of faith that God measured out to them. Your measure of faith in your walk now just be a measure of faith of God allowing you to stay saved every day. While somebody else may be operating in a measure of faith of holding and ministering to a thousand people. Lord, 
open the eyes of our understanding, God. Your level of faith, amen, may just be, hallelujah, to those in the tribe. But maximize that level of faith. Maximize the word of truth. Your level of faith may just not go beyond, amen, a house. While somebody else may have a cathedral. But maximize the level of faith in what God has said to you. Get into the place of God. Stand upon your watch. And allow God's word to be revealed in your heart. Allow the voice of God, amen, to speak unto your soul, to give you the revelation that you will need, hallelujah, to walk in this way, to walk in your God-given authority and your God-given power, and to lean on and trust God for the most holy faith that in which you carry. People of God. Get into the place of Habakkuk. Move from the place of complaining. Move to the place of always asking God. We see, amen, hallelujah, they're saying that that Habakkuk and the doubting Thomas walking in this same anointing. And to God brought clarity. God opened their eyes of understanding so that they could begin to see him better. They could begin to know him better. And this time, people of God, we ask God to begin to open our eyes of understanding so that we can move beyond what we're seeing here in the natural. Hallelujah. And ask God to allow us to see what is taking place in the supernatural. Hallelujah. So that we can get a better glimpse amen, of watching things from the spirit realm and no longer be attached unto the physical realm. Because the Bible tells us that the battle is not against flesh and blood. But against uh, spiritual wickedness in high places, <laughs> against the principalities, <laughs> against those things, hallelujah, that are operating in the spiritual realm, who we see today is wreaking havoc in the lives of the people. Why? Because many are watching, many are standing, many are asking God to reveal his plan unto our lives. We only want God to reveal what he's going to do for us. God, when you get into that place of God in this season, when you get into, amen, a place in God where you will come out of yourself, amen, hallelujah, and give God that position and give God that authority to speak down to your very soul, to allow the revelation that he has planned for the lives of his people, hallelujah, to now be downloaded inside of you. But it's time to get into that place. We're saying, God, here I am, Lord, and Lord, God, I want to know your plans, God. I want to know, Lord, what you're going to do, God. Lord, starting in my ministry, God, starting in the city, God, starting in the nation, God, starting in the country, God. Lord, God, I want to know, Lord, that, Lord, as you reveal it unto me, God, that I won't hold it, I won't keep it a secret, I just want to put it in the ears of people, God, to try to exalt myself in your wisdom, God. Lord, I will hold it, God. And make it plain for the world to see God, for the nation to see God, for the villages to see God, Lord, for the city streets, God, and the jungles to see God, seeking God, Lord, for those in the prison cells locked up behind bars, God, Lord, I will release it for those to see God, Lord, that they may catch it, Lord, and run. Run with it, God, so that it shall come to pass, God. So, Father, we thank you on this morning, God. Lord, open the eyes of our understanding, God. Lord, let us no longer be clouded in our judgment, God. Lord, let us no longer, Father, be clouded in our way of thinking, Father. Lord, let us no longer, Lord, be clouded, God, with our own thoughts, God. But, Lord God, we thank you for enlarging our perception, God. 
the way we see from this day forward, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Lord, we thank you, God, for removing the blinders from off of our eyes, God. Lord, the blinders from off of our hearts, God. Lord, those things that's been blocking our vision, God. Those things that have been hindering our vision, God. And, Lord, mostly the thing, God, is us, Lord. Father, we thank you this morning, God. We thank you this morning, God, Lord, because we, Lord, uh, desire to be the people, God, who hearkens uh, to your voice, God. We the people, God, Lord, that want to have a heart of change this morning, God, uh, as your prophet Habakkuk, God, uh, Lord, as your prophet Habakkuk, uh, as you reveal yourself unto him, God, calls him to get into a greater place of trusting in you, God. So on this morning, God, for those who are listening to the sound of my voice, God, Lord, in the seven continents here in the earth, God, Lord, God, that you will begin to speak unto their minds and to their hearts, God, your word of truth, God, like never before, God. So, Lord, that they will look unto you, God, the author and the finisher of their faith, God, Lord, that they will get themselves into a place, God, Lord, to stand in you, God, to be the conduit, God, Lord, that you can download, God, your revelation unto the life, God, that shall bring about a change in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank, thank you. you. Hallelujah. Jesus. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Lord. Father, we thank you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. For this vessel. Thank you, Hallelujah. Thank you. thank you, Jesus. God, we bless you for this vessel on this morning. We thank you, O oh Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for pouring out of him by your spirit, by your might, empowering your people, God, around this world, throughout the nations. Father, we thank you that everything that he's poured out this morning, oh God, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, that you, oh God, will pour back unto him a hundredfold, oh God, and continue to strengthen him, even in your very word, oh gracious King, oh holy one of Israel. We thank you, God, for his obedience, that you, oh God, will bless him, oh God, and that your favor will accompany him everywhere he goes, oh God, as, oh God, he has came forth with your strategies, oh God, for your people, hallelujah so that our eyes of understanding can be open in the majestic name of Jesus. We thank you, God, that this word cannot be snatched from our hearts. O oh, gracious King, as it has surely been planted on fertile ground and that it shall bear fruit in our lives. We thank you, God, in the name of Jesus, that this servant, O oh God, that the enemy, the adversary, O oh God, shall not and cannot come near the tent of his dwelling as he is hidden in your secret place, undetected, O oh God. We thank you, God, that you will continue to use him mightily and boldly throughout this world, O oh God, touching the hearts and the minds of your your people saving lives, setting the captives free, causing the sick to recover, to recover, oh God, in the majestic name of Jesus. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Father, for the voice of thunder, that, oh God, hallelujah, that awakening, that awakes, awakes the spirit of mankind. In the majestic name of Jesus, glory, 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 glory be unto God in this place. Those, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. We're going to, amen, go further in this word of truth, amen. Also, if you're seeking um, prayer requests, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. We're going to also do that as well this morning. We bless God for each and every last one of you, those that are listening, amen. Um, glory to God, thank you, Jesus. Um, to the radio, to the radio, amen. At this time, you can come in and convene with us by dialing in 319-527-2332. Again, you can dial in at 319-527-2332, amen. 
Amen. And further join us in this powerful conversation. Amen. In the majestic name of Jesus, as well as come and be prayed for, because we surely will pray for you this morning. Um, in the majestic name of Jesus, you may just need, amen, an understanding of from the Lord. You may be in a place. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Um, thank you, Jesus. That all type of things are going on in your life or even just around you. And you're trying to figure out, amen, what is going on or you have a vision that God has placed before your heart that you've seen uh, my God in the name of Jesus and, and you're in a place and you're looking at things that are contrary look so contrary into that in which God has spoken unto you and oh my God hallelujah thank you Jesus and you're just looking for an answer Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. We want to, amen, have you to call in, amen, so that we can definitely pray with you this morning, amen, so that, amen, for those that need their, their eyes of understanding to be open, hallelujah, so that one, amen, can take the stand, so that one can take a stand and, and watch and wait, Amen. To hear the answer from God. You just may. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Need some people to touch and agree with you in the name of Jesus. For that very word that he's called forth in your life. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. And so we're here. Hallelujah. To pray with you. To take a stand with you in the word of God. So that even that that's within in your heart. Hallelujah, that it will come to pass in its appointed time. In the name of Jesus. Again, you can dial in at 319-527-2332 to engage with us further. Amen. In this conversation on this broadcast for those that are listening live around the world throughout the nations we do thank you for joining us in this portion hallelujah glory to god as the mighty man of god has surely delivered a powerful word from the lord in this sunrise service we bless god for each and every last one of you and we're declaring and decreeing in this place that God has opened up your eyes of understanding so that you may know what it is that God is doing in this season and in this hour with you personally and even in the things that's going on around you in the majestic name of Jesus. Glory, glory, glory be unto God. We will look forward to you being with you next Sunday, amen, at the 5.30 a.m. hour, in Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen. To God be the absolute glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, 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 in Jesus' name, amen. Glory to God. Amen. Which, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 